my third time out with this uh, Trad Traditions Flintlock, the uh, PA pellet rifle, uh, Flintlock rifle. And today, I, think I actually bought some uh, Pyrodex pellets for it. I put a, a Lyman flint on there as well. Those uh, English flints from Traditions, they don't last very long. So, we'll see how that works out. And it's actually so far just from a couple of practice runs there, it seems to work just fine. So, I'm gonna run a dry patch through that barrel and just to clean out the oil that I got in there and, and get going on trying out these pellets. That's the uh, pellets I bought for it there. I also got some hot shots. I'm gonna, the, the hot shots are supposed to be only for uh, um, 209 uh, shotgun primers. I'm gonna try them anyway because I've seen guys actually try use them in these. So I'll do the same thing just to see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'll show you how to pull a bullet out of the, <laughs> out of the barrel of a gun. See those. Uh, Pyrodex pellets even come with this funky little red pipe cleaner. For uh, ammunition today, I'm using these Super Glide uh, Sabot, 50 caliber, of course. And I bought a bunch of these. This fellow cast up a bunch of semi log cutters. I'm going to try those. He said they're 44, but I uh, measured them up and they're 452. So they go on those yellow ones. The green ones are for 44. Because I brought them out last time and I stuck them in the 44 and say, like, okay, these are way too big. Um, so I've never, I can't see those 452s working to get on my uh, 45 ACP. They're 250 grains. Although I could use them in the 45 Colt, but I got a whack of these things. So I'm just going to. Send them down the range out of this nice looking jacket. It's the first time I've ever used these, so we'll see how that goes. Drop two of those bad boys in. I don't know how much complaining this is going to do going down the barrel. I guess I should use my starting ball. I brought out my cheap ass uh, gun rest. They actually work not too bad. Especially if it's a bolt action, semi auto, muzzle loaders, and lever actions, this thing's not so great. I forgot my fancy ramrod, so I always keep this palm saver in my kit. Just for occasions like this. I'll tell you, those sabots slide in there real nice. I'm quite surprised how easy that went down. Of course, the uh, barrel's nice and clean. It's got a very, very light film of ballast all in there. Strapped in. I think this is only the second or third time I ever used this. So, because I like flinching so much, I figured I'll bring this out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. No idea where that that looks like it's far left, right on the edge there. Of the, the big uh, center star. And the far left on the edge of the paper. these pellets. I paid 50 bucks Canadian for the pellets. The Cabela's is, is uh, super expensive. So 
So the two pellets are down there. That is uh, sliding down there really, really nice. It blew the touch hole out and it's still turning so I don't know if the threads are hooped or not. Yeah, that uh, thing is quite crooked. How oh, good we can zoom in on that. But she did blow it out. It's got a dent in it and everything. Amazingly, I found that. <laughs> but I did put it in tight. <sighs> It does look like it buggered the uh, threads and the and the uh, breech plug. I don't think it was pressure that caused it, because I know the threads on the breech plug look pretty sketchy. But I can tell how bent and crooked this thing is. It blew this thing out of the threads. And this is the touch hole liner. As you can see, it's toast. Unfortunately, it uh, took the threads out of this thing too, the breech plug itself. So this thing's no good. I tried a uh, alignment uh, touch hole liner to see if it would fit the threads, and it's it's bigger. So. Um, even if I buy a new one, and look how short that, that thing is compared to the, I don't know if I can tell or not, compared to the thread depth that's in this breech plug, in the breech plug here. It's, uh, less than half. You got three threads gripping that, and you, this gun is supposed to take a hundred and, 50 grains max of uh, powder, 2F powder. Here's the, uh, you can see how to clean my gun bench. The sails are pretty good, so. Here's uh, the Lyman touch hole liner here. Look how long that is. And uh, we'll compare that to this thing that's supposed to be designed to take about 25% uh, more pressure or powder and it bent and it's just just amazed at the uh, poor quality of this gun not that the threads even the threads on the breech plug itself are pretty rough as I mentioned in a previous vi video um, they're a bit jagged, but the threads in here were no better, and I didn't think of my wildest dreams that it would blow those things out, but two pellets of, uh, of, uh, Pyrodex, that thing came whistling out of there, and I'll probably show the video of the shot fired. I reloaded the gun, because it actually touched off nice and fast, and it fired good. But, when I went to reprime the pan, that's when I noticed this thing was jammed in the, in the, in the pan for the, uh, primer pan. And there is a bit of, you can see that shiny metal in the base of the pan? Well, that's where it's got a dent in it from the, from that thing coming out. And they tell you not to use any more than... And also cleaning up a 22. They also tell you not to use more than two of those pellets, and and I didn't. So, yeah, what a piece of junk. This is the worst gun 
new gun I've ever bought in my life.